Welcome to the Watermelon Channel. We all know bridges are feats of engineering, designed to connect us and make travel easier. But sometimes they're the backdrop for unbelievable car crashes that you have to see to believe. Today's stories are all about the chaos that can happen when cars and bridges mix. So fasten your seatbelt, it's gonna be a wild ride. Despite other drivers honking their horns to warn him, the truck driver in Milwaukee drove with the flatbed raised. He went straight into a bridge, causing the truck to roll onto its side. And miraculously, the driver only suffered a few cuts and bruises and was conscious and alert. In Quebec, the truck hits the pedestrian bridge and for a second, you think it's exploded. But don't worry, that's just canola seeds going airborne. It was such a mess that they had to dismantle the bridge and spend about 20 hours cleaning up before the road could reopen. A bad expansion joint turned a routine drive into a nightmare in China. A chunk of steel was sticking up on this bridge, causing a white truck to collide with a car. The impact was so strong, the car flipped over the edge. The guy standing on the side is probably buying a lottery ticket after that escape. In Ohio, a driver gave us a real-life action movie moment, but not the good kind. Driving at at least 100 miles per hour, his car went airborne, smashing into a bridge. The force of the crash broke the car into three pieces, but somehow the driver survived the ordeal. Built with cutting-edge German technology and no prior accidents since its 2016 debut, the floating bridge in China's Enshi appeared to be safer than it looked. That was until May of 2023. A black SUV carrying eight passengers seemed to lose control and plowed right through the guardrails into the water below. Two teens in a stolen Kia didn't stop for police and kicked off a wild chase. Racing at 94 miles per hour, they crashed through the guardrail and flew off the bridge. The following escape was short-lived, as they didn't get far, getting caught in a nearby neighborhood pretty quickly. This guy had his doubts, staring at the low overpass, wondering if his truck would fit. Who knows how this would have turned out if the driver was alone. Unfortunately, he had the bad luck of trusting the folks shouting from behind. Spotting a low bridge in time is only half of the battle. This 18-wheeler driver figured out the bridge was too low for him, but then decided to pull a U-turn on a narrow road. After more than five minutes blocking the road and causing a total truck wreck, the driver finally managed to turn the truck back to its normal position. So avoiding the bridge is one thing, but you still gotta play it smart. Hitting the bottom of an overpass is an all too common mistake for this notorious spot in Indianapolis. But man, this trash truck took it to the next level. After hitting the overpass, the truck just exploded into flames. A truck hauling an excavator thought it could squeeze under a train bridge. Nope, the excavator smashed into the bridge and was not clean off the truck's bed. But at least it didn't get stuck there like this one. In a Memphis incident, the cost was nothing short of staggering, around $2 million. That includes not just the train, but also the dozens of brand new vehicles inside. As unfortunate as it is, there's a weird satisfaction in watching a bridge slice through a metal roof like that. In Manville, a truck and its trailer got jammed under an underpass. The driver didn't even slow down, plowing ahead and absolutely wrecking the trailer in the process. In a chilling moment, a bus in China veered off course and plunged into the Yangtze River. It wasn't a mechanical failure though, it was a fight between the driver and a passenger that led to this devastating accident. When you consider the responsibility that comes with driving a bus full of people, it's staggering to think a moment of anger had such tragic consequences. It looks like a cool action movie scene, but unfortunately, it's not. The Postal Service 18-wheeler collided with another vehicle and plummeted off the overpass. 
and this US mail truck had more luck on its side, plunging off a bridge into a river. The driver was quote unquote remarkably unhurt and climbed on top of the trailer to wait for help, according to police. The icy roads are no joke, as this driver got a chilling reminder, plummeting 70 feet off a bridge in Milwaukee and surviving against all odds. Something jutting out from the top of this dump truck smashed into the bridge, causing chunks of concrete to fall. Luckily for the drivers behind, they dodged the debris raining down on the road. The hit was so bad that Minnesota's Department of Transportation had no choice but to remove that part of the bridge. A Hyundai took a nosedive off an overpass, not only wrecking itself, but also landing on a Lexus below. In a split second, this road turned into a demolition derby. The Oxley Road in Brisbane isn't just any road, it's practically a local celebrity thanks to its infamous low train bridge. Truck drivers just can't seem to get it right, constantly underestimating its height. This bridge is no stranger to the spotlight, regularly making headlines for all the wrong reasons. And here's one of the many trucks that met its fate in the Napier St. Bridge in Melbourne. Oh no! <laughs> In Florida, a sheriff's deputy was cruising along when suddenly the unexpected happened right in front of him. A car swerved out of control, crashing into a bridge guardrail. Surprisingly, the driver walked away with nothing more than a ticket for careless driving. Oh, and a totally wrecked car, of course. Now, let's talk about the iconic 11 foot 8 bridge, also known as the Can Opener in Durham, North Carolina. This bridge is practically an internet sensation, as for over a decade, this low clearance underpass has claimed the tops of numerous trucks, RVs, and other tall vehicles, much to the amusement of the online world. The bridge sits at a height of, you guessed it, 11 foot 8 inches. Despite all the warning signs, flashing lights, and even a website dedicated to its low clearance fame, drivers still manage to get stuck or have their top sheared off. This bridge has been banged, scraped, and rammed so many times that there's even a dedicated YouTube channel capturing all of its greatest hits. Over the years, the channel has amassed millions of views. It's the ultimate rubbernecking experience, but from the comfort of your own home. Why so many accidents, you ask? Well, sometimes it's rental trucks driven by inexperienced drivers, sometimes it's distraction, but often it's just overconfidence that leads to underestimations. Either way, this bridge is unforgiving. You might be wondering if anything has been done to fix the situation. The answer is yes and no. The bridge was actually raised to 12 foot 4 inches in 2019, but guess what? Accidents still happen. Located in Massachusetts, the Westwood Low Bridge is another troublemaker that's got local tow companies on speed dial. This bridge isn't as famous as the 11 foot 8, but don't underestimate it. Standing at just 10 foot 6 inches, it's got quite a track record for being a truck muncher. And trust me, when it chomps down on a truck, it leaves its mark. What's fascinating about this bridge is that it's built with a heavy metal frame to absorb the hits. Because, well, they knew what they were getting into. And like its older sibling, the 11 foot 8, there's no shortage of signs warning drivers, but they still get caught. The bridge was built in the early 1900s and has been hit well over a hundred times. Local authorities have even tried to find solutions, but lowering the road is impossible due to a nearby gas line, and raising the bridge would require a complete overhaul of the train tracks above it. So for now, this bridge isn't going anywhere, and neither is its knack for making headlines. Thanks for watching everyone. If you've got your own wild stories to share, drop them in the comments below. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe for more. And see you in the next one.